Ah, man. Before I sit down, today is a terrible day for us Black Ops 3 lovers. No, 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 no. The people over at X Labs, if you don't know what that is, is where you were safely able to play some old Call of Duty titles. They received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision Publishing, which has also resulted in the BOII client, otherwise known as the only safe way to play Black Ops 3 right now, to be completely shut down to. And the community right now is in uproar. This is the first game that I've joined, and I think we've joined a hacker. We're 12 to 125 right now, and this guy is 54 and 2. Yes, brothers. Nice. It's not the best lobby for me to get recognized in, but it's the perfect lobby to prove why we need this client. This is the first lobby I've joined. What the... What the hell was that guy doing? Hey, brothers, I love you. Apparently, everyone in this lobby knows who I am. I want to back out. I've got to show love to my boys. He said, sorry for the cheater on my... Yeah, I'm sorry. I got to leave you guys, man. If you're watching this, I love you. So if you're wondering how I'm still playing Black Ops 3, it's because I'm playing the official Black Ops 3 game rather than playing the BOII client that got really popular recently because it was the safe way to play Black Ops 3 to avoid hackers... But sadly, that has been taken away from us. By the way, before I carry on talking, you guys already hit the like goal from yesterday's video for me to unlock the hero armor. <laughs> you hit 3,000 likes in about 12 hours. What's going on? I saw a couple comments about it too. Am I lowballing you guys? I just don't know what sort of like goals to set. You guys go crazy. So let's try it another step higher. 4,000 likes on this video and I'll continue to upload more old Call of Duty's. No way you guys are hitting that one, I'll be honest. So one of the reasons why I'm so upset about this is because, first of all, I didn't even get a chance to try the client. I didn't get a chance to do it. I was too busy finishing my series on the actual game to the point where I didn't even get to try the safe version of Black Ops 3. And now once I've completed it, we're all forced to play this if we want to play Black Ops 3. <laughs> all those of you that might not know what the B-O-I-I-I client is, Wargs, yo, what's up, my guy? Basically, it was a client made by people so that you could play Black Ops 3 safely by having having its own dedicated servers so you wouldn't really run into hackers there were still a few hackers on there but definitely nothing in comparison to what you experience on the actual game nah not today i'm getting this it's wrapped no flipping way <laughs> hey he's so mad let me call these bad boys in oh that is unfortunate on this game if you don't know you run into hackers all the time there's fear of hackers getting access to your system to your pc which obviously isn't the nicest thing when you're simply just trying to play black ops 3 so they came up with that client and everyone was having fun on it until today where activision decided to take it down and it's not just a Black Ops 3 client either. You guys know it happened recently with SM2. I've not talked about SM2 too much, but that was basically another Call of Duty type of thing that was being made by totally separate people, but using the Call of Duty game files, bringing a bunch of different Call of Duties into one with all of our favorite maps, all of our favorite weapons, its own ranking up system. It was going to be something totally fresh. And that got taken down a few days ago and we were hoping it stopped there, but it didn't. The only thing standing now, or at least at the time of me recording this video is plutonium on plutonium if i remember correctly you're able to play modern warfare 3 safely that's why i played modern warfare 3 on recently you're also able to play black ops 2 as well a bunch of other old call of G's that were not on x labs that's the last one standing and honestly i don't see it lasting much longer i'll be real with how they've been going with these cease and desist letters hey i think they're coming for all of them and it's so annoying because i was so excited to play the black ops 3 client i got done doing the whole dark matter series and I really thought I was going to be able to reward myself by playing the client without any hackers afterwards. But no, they took it away from me. So now I've got to use my Dark Matter camo against all of these hackers. To be fair though, it does make me happy that I stuck to playing the actual game rather than trying to stop the series and starting it all over again on the client because that would have been a complete waste of time. I think in the comments of every last one of my videos, my Black Ops 3 videos at least, I had at least 20 people saying, oh, why are you wasting your time? against hackers when you could be playing the client. <laughs> 
What people didn't know is the fact that I already started the Dark Matter series before that clients was even released. If I remember correctly, I already had diamond ARs and diamond SMGs. So thankfully, I actually stuck to it. Could you imagine I was close to finishing the Dark Matter series on there and then it got taken away just like that? Oh, that would have been a terrible vibe. So with the clients gone now, I'm actually one of the cool guys on the actual game because I actually have Dark Matter. I didn't hit unlock all. I guess I understand it to a certain extent from Activision's point of view because, you know, people actually using their game and also profiting from it is not the best look in Activision's eyes. Although with some of the clients, I'm not actually sure whether they were profiting. I think with SM2, they made it clear that they were not profiting from the game and it was simply just a fan project for everyone to enjoy. But then again, they were using Call of Duty, so it's like, I, I don't know. The difference with the Black Ops 3 client, though, is the fact that you actually had to own Black Ops 3 to be able to get onto the client. Oh, what's up, bro? How you doing? You good? So it's not like the client was stopping people from buying Black Ops 3. If anything, it was making more people buy the game. I don't know if you guys saw recently, but I think it was in the last couple weeks, Black Ops 3 actually was getting close to the amount of sales that Modern Warfare 2 was, the newly released Modern Warfare 2. You what? Black Ops 3 is about eight years old. That is absolutely insane for that to be happening. It shouldn't be happening. It just shows how much people love Black Ops 3 and also wanted to be able to play it safe. But also, the other side to that is, I guess, you know, there was an unlock all feature to the Black Ops 3 client. So, you know, people would spend money on supply drops to get these DLC weapons, to get these camos and whatever. And then you could just go onto the client and get access to absolutely everything. So I see why that might not look the best from Activision's point of view. Let's be real. But realistically, the game is about eight years old. I don't think any of us that had all of the DLC weapons cared that people could get access to them through a client. And nobody cared. If anything, those same people that had everything unlocked by spending hella money were on the client too. Nothing beats this Black Ops 3 hater. Wow, he was posted up. Look at this guy. Oh, all of these guys are just facing this way on the hater. What am I supposed to do? Yo, I am sweating, by the way. Out of nowhere, it just got insanely hot in the UK. Yes, we got Nuketown, but look huh? at the lobby. <laughs> what are you doing? No, no, stop it, bro. What the? Wait, there's a hacker on both teams. I think this stalker bot is actually protecting us from hackers that we come up against because that hacker there is getting destroyed by my hacker. Looking at my weapon just reminded me, and by the way, if you haven't seen the supply drop opening that I just did on Black Ops 3, make sure you go check that out. You know, afterwards, I'm with the weapons that I got. In my head, I was kind of like, okay, the weapons I didn't get, I can use on the client. Turns out I could not rely on that anymore. That's tough. That's tough! What is this? This is just so... Get me out. Please get me out. I'm actually looking at Twitter right now and everyone is going crazy about this. I think people are mainly upset about the Black Ops 3 client not being playable anymore. However, I'm just sad about all of the Call of Duty's that we could not play now on PC safely. It was so great just to be able to hop on any of those old Call of Duty's on my PC, have access to an FOV slider, have access to actual people playing the game, have access to the maps I wanted to have access access to the weapons. Now that's literally impossible. I don't know if you guys know, but half of those Call of Duty, if not all of the Call of Duty is from back in the day, are literally unplayable now. Whether it's the hackers, whether it's the low play account, whether it's because you was on PlayStation and now you're on Xbox or vice versa. You know, you could be on PC now and all of your accounts are on console, but those clients made it so that you was able to unlock everything that you had, if not more. Now that is all impossible. Wow. Yeah, that, all that text off my screen. Yo, this streak was so over the top. I swear you cannot play when this streak is going on, regardless if you're on the enemy team or not. Got no bullets. But there's only one person in the game.
Oh my goodness! Mm. I was like four off a nuke. Brad has love from South Africa. Hey, shout out to you, man. I don't know about you, but the way I kind of feel about it is the game is about eight years old. Just let us rock. Let us rock and enjoy it in the only way we can, you know? Why is that guy running on the spot? Woo! It also makes it more difficult for us Call of Duty creators too because having those clients made it much easier for us to access to all the games to be able to play them and record them for you. However, now since we haven't got access to the clients, how are we supposed to play those old games without hopping on an Xbox 360 or an old console? But when you do that, you either don't find lobbies or you find hackers or you struggle to find lobbies. So it just makes not only the content a little bit worse because of how difficult it is to record, but also it just kills the vibe, to be honest. Let me see this guy. This is apparently the hacker. Wait, was this sniper that good? Oh yeah, a lot of you guys were telling me that you can use a controller on Black Ops 4 PC. And by the way, I oh, I just tried sniping a flipping Cerberus. I know you can use a controller on PC Black Ops 4. However, when you do, there is zero aim assist. Huh? I might still give it a try to see how it is, but the sound of that is absolutely terrible. Not only that, it's also full of hackers I've heard as well. So me, no aim assist, no hardcore, I assume, because there's barely any players and hackers. It doesn't mix well. Either way, I am extremely upset about the Black Ops 3 client being taken down as well as all of the other clients. I do feel sorry for the people that put time into it too. That must be extremely, extremely sad for them. However, I'm sure that they went into it knowing that there was a chance of this happening. I felt like I just had to sit here and talk to you guys because everyone was talking about it in my comments telling me to go play it. Now it's impossible. Like I did say, 4,000 likes on this video and I'll continue to upload old Call of Duties, which will sadly be a lot more difficult now but we'll figure it out man thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video